Okay, one of the ways that zebra mussels can be spread around from one body of water to another is through recreational boating. This is purely unintentional on the boater's part, but the zebra mussel villagers or the larvae are very small and microscopic and they can survive for several days in a very small amount of water. And I'd like to go through the boat and show some of the areas where uh, boaters need to disinfect the boat and flush it out and dry it before they move from one body of water to another. First one is the live well in the boat where an angler would normally keep his fish. Just draining these live wells after use is typically not sufficient because most of these plastic live wells have little pockets in the bottom that'll hold water. And it takes a very small volume of water to keep a, a larval zebra mussel alive for several days, particularly if the weather is fairly cool. And when you disinfect your boat for zebra mussels, there's really no need to use any type of harsh chemicals, which could possibly be harmful to the environment. Water of a temperature of 104 degrees or higher is sufficient to kill both the larval villager zebra mussels and the adults. The bilge area of a boat is another area that can hold water and support young zebra mussels for a period of time. Water splashed over the back of the boat or the sides of the boats could contain these larvae and end up down in the bilge. In summary, when you pull your boat out of a body of water, it's important to drain the live well, drain the bilge, empty any bait that you might have up on the shore or give it to another angler that can use it on that same body of water. When you get to a spot where you have hot water available, go ahead and rinse that bilge, bait bucket, and live well out with hot water, and that's water over 104 degrees. If you don't have hot water available, you can rinse these areas with a solution of 10% bleach. If for boats that have been moored in the water for any amount of time, there's always the potential that there's adult zebra mussels attached to them. Now they could be on the main part of the hull underneath the boat, but if the boat's used any at all, it's more than likely that you'll find any zebra mussels that are attached on the transom of the boat in protected areas. And some of these areas include these pockets around the transducers and any type of uh, trim tab that's on the back of the boat around any type of live well drains, in around the fins and recesses on the motor. And for boats that have a plastic water intake cover, it's important to take that off on fairly regular intervals and make sure there's not zebra mussels growing inside the motor. If you get a lot of zebra mussels growing inside there, they could actually restrict the flow of water in the motor and cause it to overheat. When you pull your boat out of the lake, it's important to inspect the trailer because that's another area that zebra mussels can be transferred. Important areas to check are the cross members under the trailer, the axles underneath the wheel wells, the guide bars on the back of the trailer, the rear running lights, and the uh, license plate. Another area to inspect are the carpeted bunks underneath the boat because vegetation can get trapped in between the boat and the bunks. If you think you found a zebra mussel or other invasive species, please contact our invasive species coordinator at our central office.